This week's Better Than a Cop story is brought to you by the Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund. Help good people who are disobeying bad laws and visit the Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund today. This week, we have two stories for you. The first comes from Colorado, where Catherine Lucas, 25, parked her bike outside of a bar where she was watching a University of Colorado football game. When she left, she discovered that her road bike was missing. She immediately contacted the police and filed a report. While the police did nothing, Catherine decided to take matters into her own hands. Her and her roommate began searching Craigslist to see if the thief would try selling the bike there. Sure enough, Lucas found a post and immediately recognized her bike's red handlebar tape and water bottle holder. She then responded to the Craigslist ad, pretending to be the buyer for the bike. Minutes later, a person using the name Lance Robinson responded with his phone number and instructed her to text him so he could send her his address. Catherine went to the man's apartment complex and asked if she could test ride the bike. When she got on the bike, she made a split-second decision to keep riding, taking her property back without incident. When Catherine returned home, she called the police and provided them with the perp's address. Police later arrested the bike thief, who was charged and released. The second story comes from Atlanta, Georgia, where 12-year-old Jessica Maple saw the break-in at her late grandmother's home without the police. Jessica, never buying the police officer's story that someone with a key must have broke in, convinced her mother to help her investigate further. While doing so, she found a broken window that police had missed. This window provided additional clues and possible fingerprints to the perps. But before going to the police with the information, they decided to take it a step further. The duo checked local pawn shops for the stolen goods from their grandmother's home. It didn't take long to find several of the missing items. Not only that, the pawn shop store owner had pictures, address, and names of the alleged thieves. Yet, even though Jessica did all the legwork and successfully cracked the case, something police were too busy to do, those responsible for the break-in remained free. Both stories, in my opinion, are perfect examples of the incapabilities in policing today. While police spend more and more of their time on victimless crimes, those who are actual victims go without service, a service they're forced to pay for. These courageous individuals have not only proven to me that crimes with actual victims are secondary issues to police, but have also shown that police aren't the only option in protecting oneself or property. And that's why they are this week's Better Than a Cop story. You've made liberty your life's goal, but something seems to be missing. Stickers from LibertyStickers.com. Exercise your freedom of speech with the world's most dangerous bumper stickers. That's LibertyStickers.com.